let's install the validator and the beacon client on the Sapphire testnet. So we're on the Prior Labs website. We will install the validator and beacon client. And this is a very good way to practice becoming a validator. And I'll go through all the steps of installing the validator and beacon client on the testnet. So I'll be doing this on the Mac. The there are a few things that you have to have installed. So you have to have a MetaMask wallet. You can also use the Protis wallet that also works. You'll be using a GoEth on the Gurley testnet. You also need Docker, which creates containers and you will have to install the beacon and the validator client images on your computer with Docker. So the Prylabs.net has very good documentation. When you're on the website, you can just either read the docs or you can click on participate and you get brought to the documentation and explains everything in detail in a few steps. You've got six steps that you have to do. The first one is uh, get Prism and Prism is the Ethereum 2.0 client and it comes in the two components validator and a beacon client. You've got many different ways that you can install that. We'll be, we'll be using a Docker pool and if you want to use some other options, you can open up the documentation. Then you'll get some GURETH, girly ETH. You will generate a validator public key and private key. You can start your beacon chain and validator clients, send the validator deposit and wait for your validator assignment. So actually very straightforward, but when I was trying that, I had a few hiccups here and there. So. I think it's it's very good to do this process a few times so that you get familiar with it. However, I do hope as soon as the Ethereum 2.0 update happens and people can become validators, that the whole process is a lot easier because at the moment it's not very user friendly if you don't have a technical background. Make sure you install Docker first and that you have Docker running before you start with the other parts of the installation process. So let's get started with installing Prism. So I've got my uh, terminal open. I just copy and paste the two, two, two commands, the Docker pull commands for the validator and the beacon client. They are quite small files, so they should down pretty, pretty fast. I've already done it. So for me, it's even faster. Just copy and paste, press enter, and it should download. Make sure you've got the latest version of Docker. That may be an issue if you don't have the latest version of Docker. So with that installed, the next step is to get some girly ETH. And for that, you need the MetaMask wallet. The MetaMask wallet and the website can be a bit tricky at times. I've had a bit of an issue with that and sometimes you have to refresh the page. Make sure that you've got the girly test network selected, otherwise that won't work. So after I refreshed the page a few times, the issue went away and I could connect without a problem to my MetaMask wallet. And the prylabs.net will send the connection request. Prismatic Labs would like to connect to your account. Now that will, that will allow me to interact with the prylabs.net website and receive some girly ETH. Now I'll click on connect and then I'll be connected. And the Prylabs.net website recognizes my Ethereum address, my girly ETH, my girly Ethereum address. And I'll, I need 3.2, I need, I need at least 3.2 girly ETH to be able to become a validator to send to the deposit contract. The test network work um, validators only need 3.2 girly ETH. For the new update, Ethereum 2.0 update, you need 32 Ethereum to become a validator, but to make things easier and faster on the test network, you only need 3.2. So I click on need GURF and I've received 3.5 girly ETH in this transaction, which is great. This means we can continue to the next step in becoming a validator. So I can click on the generate validator public key and I'll get another command. I can just copy this and paste it into my terminal. I'll change the password to another password that I can remember. Uh, let's, let's choose a password. I think I'll just do a simple one. Or let's do serenity 42, the answer for everything. 
All right, and then I click and enter and it will create my validator public and private key. And this is the raw transaction data. This is now this raw transaction data you have to copy and my account has been created. I need to copy and paste the raw transaction data shown below when issuing a transaction into the E4.0 deposit contract to activate your validator client. Now I'm copying this and I go back to the website. I copy that into your validator deposit data. Click on enter and that's it. Now I can start my beacon client and validator clients. I just need to copy these two parts of code, the docker run. I need to open up two terminals. The first one is for the beacon chain and the next one is for the validator client. So let's start with the beacon chain, copy that and paste it into the first terminal. And now our beacon chain is running. Next copy the second one for the validator client into the second terminal and make sure that you change the password to the password that you selected before. A Serenity 42, that's the one that we selected and click on enter. This will start your validator client and as you can see here, beacon chain started, genesis time and the time when it started. Now I'm gonna have to wait quite a long time, at least a few hours for the um, beacon chain to sync with the testnet. So as soon as the beacon chain is synced, you can send a, a validated deposit and you can make the validated deposit into the deposit contract. So you can make a deposit by clicking on the button. Metamask will open up. You send 3.2 girly ETH to the deposit contract. So let's wait until Metamask loads. And as you can see, we've got 3.2 girly ETH available. The gas fee in girly ETH, the total is 3.2016 and I'm happy with that. So I can click on confirm to send a 3.2 girly ETH to the deposit contract. Now as a quick reminder, on the Sapphire testnet, it only takes 3.2 girly ETH to become a validator. As soon as staking and validators become available on the Ethereum 2.0 a blockchain, you will need 32 Ethereum to become a validator. So yeah, that was it. Now you have to wait for your validator assignment. That might take a while, so I will stop this uh, short tutorial guide right here. Hope you found this valuable. If you've got any questions about becoming a validator, uh, about installing the beacon chain of the um, validator client on the testnet, then don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below and I'll catch you soon with some very exciting videos. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.